Yay. So who has a dream? Who else has a dream? You have a dream. Come on up, Chelsea. Just last night. A dream from last night is always good. Yeah. Okay. So um, a guy came up to me and said he had something for me to do. And he started leading me through like seemed like the woods and I remember we were ducking because there were branches and stuff um, and then we got to this tree and it was like there was kind of like a white laundry basket or something and he said I want you to pick these oranges and they were so big they look like grapefruits so I was like these are huge and he said be careful because they're so ripe that they're just falling down and so I was like in the dream I'm like what if they fall on me you know these things are big and then yeah I woke up awesome so, that is so much fun. Thank you very much. So in this dream, you're, you're with this guy that comes up to you and you're in a forest and he says, follow me. There's something that you need to do or I want you to do. Yes. And you begin to follow him. And as you're walking through this forest, you're having to duck under some branches where, where they're going across the path and going around different things. And you get to this one place where you see a white, like a laundry basket, mm -hmm. like you put clean clothes in, mm -hmm. um, sitting there. And, and he says, I need you to pick these oranges. And there were the oranges that are on the tree, but they were so huge that they, they look like the size of grapefruit. Yes. And he says, but you got to be careful because they're so ripe, they're falling off the tree. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of the dream. Yes. And I should say it was at like dusk or twilight or something. It wasn't like, you know, the middle of the day. Um, and I would kept asking him what he was going to have me do. And he wouldn't answer me until we got to the tree. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. So pause your video and come up with a title for this dream. Figure out what's your focus. What are your sub focuses? What are your details? Now with this dream, some of you have already figured out what it means. Just write down the interpretation. If you've already got it, you don't have to go through all the process. The process helps to make sure that the revelation is right. It never replaces revelation. Revelation is what interprets the dream. And as soon as you're ready, start the video and we'll let you know what we came up with here at the lab. Yay! Well, I hope you enjoyed this dream as much as we did. This is so much fun. It's going to be so encouraging for the dreamer. So let's, let's diagram it out and see what we come up with. So what did, what did you guys name this one? We named it a bountiful harvest or a Chelsea's promised land. <laughs> Both of those are nice. We put it together. Chelsea's promised land and bountiful harvest. I'm, for, for sake of space, I will just put bountiful harvest. <laughs> Bountiful harvest. Beautiful. All right, so who or what's our focus? Chelsea. Chelsea, the dreamer. And what are our sub focuses? And we could keep it to just three. The fruit, yes. The man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already got that. Uh, basket, right? Let's get the forest. 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 Yeah. forest. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody mentioned that these were oranges. That's going to be important detail. Anything else? What about the basket? basket. Yeah. The basket. Yeah. And let's put that off of the... The basket. And we could put that it was white. And that it was laundry. These are all details. Mm -hmm. Anything else essential? Um, dust. 
the tree. Yeah, the fact that it was dusk, and I'm not sure exactly where to put that, so I'm just going to put it off the fort. Yeah. Like twilight. Anything else? What about her picking up the oranges? She was given that task to pick the oranges. Yeah, so she's supposed to uh, she's supposed to pick it. So I'm going to put this arrow, just a reminder, remind us that she's supposed to get this fruit. The low branches mm -hmm. stuck out to, my, to me. That she had to uh, okay. go underneath yeah, the forest. Tree too. Too. Yeah, that would be that a branch good. or a detail off of this. I'm the just going to write branch. The on that tree with the fruit? No. Okay. It's just part of the path, having yeah. to yeah. go yeah. under yeah. some yeah. things. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have a question. Yes. What color was Chelsea's hair in the dream? No, I'm just kidding. I'm so <laughs> kidding. I'm so kidding. <laughs> the fact that it was ripe <laughs> and big. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so you're focusing then on the fruit and not the tree. I mean, the fruit I is obviously am. the fruit, but yeah, okay. Yes, I actually am. Okay, because we, we made them both players in the dream rather than... Right, because the fruit was on a tree. Yeah, so that was... Yeah. 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 No, that's, that's good. <laughs> so let, let's start walking through. Man. What's a man? The Holy Spirit, God, messenger, so it could be any of the above, but comes from God, so we're just going to write God. It represents God, even if it's not him directly. Okay? Um, forest. Why a forest? Her own difficulty, the things that she's come through, her past. Personal wilderness. Okay, now that would be the, the branch would talk about the difficulty. Obstacles. Obstacles. But why a forest? Why wasn't it a path with a bunch of rocks on the beach? Why wasn't it, uh, you know, why wasn't it concrete that had been all messed up that she was trying to have to figure out how to, it was a little bit difficult to Are get past? trees normally leaders? Trees represent leaders. So this is talking about leadership issues. Okay. Now, why, yeah, why twilight? Just before the dawn. Harvest twilight. Just before the dawn, yeah. but it's also just before the night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that in between. Yeah. It's while there's transition. still light. Transition. While there's still light, but it's talking about transition, but it's still light. So they're still able to see where we're going, but that, that transition time period, that transition period. Okay? Now, go to the fruit. What's the fruit? Orange. Yeah, it's an orange. Yeah. It's uh, blessings or, you know, it's, uh, so it's, it's the outcome of, you know, the... The outcome. That's exactly it. It's the outcome. It's the fruit. It's the results. Mm -hmm. Why an orange? Why not an apple? Why not a peach? I think she's... Perseverance. Right, because orange is about perseverance. <laughs> so it was really ripe and it was really big. So how would the dream have been different if the oranges were not ready to be picked yet? If they were green? It would be premature. Right, maybe it would say that she needs to persevere to get to the fruit, right. but this is said she's already persevered and the fruit is beyond ready. That's right. You see that, that difference? So that's important. And then the basket. We thought that one meant um, there's no more dirty laundry. There's no more dirty laundry. Oh, that's nice. Take that out. Oh, that's good. That's very cool. <laughs> right? And it, but it's clean and it's pure. That's right. Right? And it's a laundry basket, so white, clean, pure. 
laundry, things have been cleansed, things have been purified. Very good. And she has the container to hold it. She has a container to hold it. I don't have to say she's filling it up, right? Yeah, because... So it's like the bowl. It's yeah. Like whatever she's... Whatever's happened with the oranges, her gifting or whatever is happening, she's filling it up, that basket, so it's becoming full or overflowing. Yeah. And one of the things that's cool about this dream is, is taking a look at the timestamp because it ends... Where she's at the fruit, she sees the basket, she knows she has to pick it, but she hasn't picked it yet. So that tells you where the dreamer's at in her life right now. Because that tension, that when you have a cliffhanger at the end of a dream where it's, there's something that's just about to happen, but it's not quite happened. Normally, now not 100% of the time, normally that means that this is about ready to happen. You're right at this moment right now when you had the dream. So now... Yes. <laughs> the other thing that was that goes with that is the dusk in Hebrew, I believe, um, is a new day. That's at six o'clock is when the new day begins. Yes. So that goes with what, like that timing. It's a new day. It's this time. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's a new day. So very exciting. Now, who wants to put all this together for the dreamer? Let's have a couple of you come up and do that. What, can I just ask one question? Yes, please. Is it important for her, I know her very well, <laughs> to, when she's there, she realizes how big this is, that and she's thinking this could fall yeah. on my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a mental, is that like a mental warfare picture or just a, something in her that's, that's an anxiety about? about it's it or, or does that even matter in the dream is that just a throwaway piece or that that feeling she had that this could fall on my head or what was it something like that you said mm -hmm. yeah because that really stuck out to me yeah, yeah I, I don't i don't know I'm just asking, you know. yeah i mean it seems like there's 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 some there's some warning there just be very careful in, in picking this fruit it's ripe it's there but there's going to need to be care in taking it and and reaping it yeah, so that, that important, the important piece was the fact that you've got to be careful. So just because you're excited and it's amazing, is, you still is, be careful. Is it something to do with the stewardship of the outcome, like mm. the food that she receives that she needs to steward it well, like she has to be careful with it? Yes. Yeah. Debbie, did you have a... So do you think this is like a multi-layer dream? I, I, I think so. I think it's... I think it's 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 very relevant right now that has a very clear uh answer for that but it's also um showing her some principles and she'll probably see that this pattern has happened more than once okay that's good yeah did you have another question all right any other questions before we get some interpretations up all right so now how would you put it all together if you're just talking to the dreamer how would you put it all together? Let's get a couple of you come up and do that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and just, just look right at her. She's right there. Okay, right. So, um, so um, the person who led you is God, So, it, which means that through this, uh, first of all, uh, twilight being a transition and the forest being uh, you know, the the issues that you had with, with leadership or there were any any leadership issues around that. Um, God has led you through through those issues and you have overcome them. Uh, it looks like that when you have reached the destination. And um, um, yeah, probably <laughs> it, 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 it seems like it's not a really long time that is left. Or, you know, it, it seems like a very short time that you had in even in your dream while you traveled. Uh, with the person leading you um, uh, to reaching your destination or to that tree. Uh, so it doesn't seem to be a very long uh, time that was required to get those things out of your life or, you know, God's dealt with them, now you're at that, at that, at that place. Um, um, it looks like God has led you to a very specific place as well and a, with a very specific assignment 
uh, it looks like you're, you know, you have persevered well because orange being a fruit of perseverance, uh, you are about to receive the, uh, the outcome, the fruit or the, the result of your perseverance in God mm-hmm. or in perseverance in, in your faith in Him uh, so that you're able to now receive them, contain them or collect them. Uh, you know, the basket shows purity at, at the same time shows that it's empty, which means all your older issues are gone, which means there is space for you to actually collect the fruit and, um, and enjoy it. Uh, and it all shows that, that capacity that you have in you to get the, <laughs> get the fruit. Um, uh, at the same time, uh, it, it looks like that God wants you to be able to get the fruit and also steward it very well, uh, which means that probably God may use it for His glory in the coming days of your life. That's what I... Isn't that fun? As he was sharing that interpretation and you felt that shift where that that flow just hit him and the anointing started to come through the interpretation. Always look for that because that's fun. That was great. I felt like my brother Sean. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else have, have just another way of saying it? <laughs> so so the main the main piece is, is is you know keeping the you know that there's this been the journey that she's gone through, that God's been guiding her, God's been leading, and even though it's been difficult and there's been a lot of transition, that there's a lot of fruit because she's persevered. And God's already prepared her to reap that fruit, but there's going to need to be care as she goes forward. If you get those, those kind of those main points, that, that really is, is the essential pieces. The, the, the fact that there's fruit, the fact that she's been on a journey, and the fact that God is guiding her. If you've got those three pieces, you've got the right interpretation.